to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Esme. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good to have you back. It feels like you were in Mexico forever. Yes, it was so long here. <laughs> oh, just a minute. These came for you. from Curtis? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Come on, birthday girl dish. <laughs> Fine then. <laughs> Well, while everyone is celebrating this morning, I wanted to let you know that the partners and I are so very impressed with the amazing job you did on the acquisitions deal down in Mexico City. Uh, we discussed it, and we all agree. It's time to make you a junior partner. Really? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, yes, y yes, yes, uh, uh, of course. Thank you, Hall. Oh, uh, no thanks necessary. You've put the work in. You earned it. Now, we just need to get you up to speed on the merger by tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Whatever you need. Very good. I'll have the file sent down to the discovery room. And uh, one more thing. Happy birthday, kid. <laughs> Thank you, Hall. before I leave. What time is it? Uh, it's almost seven. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, no, I'm good, thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you. Hi, Curtis. Hey, hey, you on your way? I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to meet you for dinner. What? I know we planned this, but I have good news. I made you your partner. That's awesome. Congratulations, Jessica. Yes. Yes. Thank you. They drop a major case on me, and I have so many files to go through. Did uh, you get my flowers? Of course I receive your flowers. They are beautiful. I miss you. wanted to celebrate your birthday. I'm sorry. We talk later. Okay, Curtis. Cumpleaños feliz, cumpleaños feliz, felicidades de esperanza, cumpleaños feliz. Gracias, mami. I know. I made you cry. Sorry, mi hija. It's okay. I'm at the office. ¿Qué? Why? Because they made me junior partner. <gasps> 
Qué bueno, Espe. I'm so happy for your big promotion. Gracias, mami. Mom, I'm 31 years old. Shouldn't I be happier? Why don't you come home this weekend, mi amor? We miss you. I miss you. I would love to, mommy, but... There is no way I can leave right now. Ted and Faith are coming in from Portland, and God is already here. Maybe we could get the three of you on a birthday hike. I'm going to be working nights and weekends. Bueno, mi cielo. Sisters, we'll be here when you have the time. Mom, you sound tired. The renovations are just wear me out a bit. That's all. Well, don't try to do too much, okay? Take your time. No, no. It's fine. I will get back for a hike one of these days. I promise. Of course you will. Te amo, Espe. Yo te amo más, mami. You should tell her. I don't want her coming home and feeling guilty for me. You should tell your girls. I have to do this my own way. It's an emergency, Daniel. No one's gonna look at my hairs at your mom's funeral. You know what? You come. I'm gonna drive because hey, calm, down. Uh, calm down. I can't. I can't. I can't calm down, Daniel. You look like a member of the Bad Rabbit. It's Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Whatever. Come down, sweetheart. Come down. Come down. Taste those turnovers. I miss her so much. Thank you, Erika. Gary, hey. Mm. 
We haven't had a chance to talk. I'm a little busy right now, Espe. Let's talk later here. Take a pastelito. Good, right? Just like moms. And if it weren't at her funeral, I might say they were better. Hey! <laughs> Time. Just since Christmas? I tried two Christmases ago. Right. It's okay. We're together. That's what matters. I just wish Mom was here too. I miss her so much. But, um, where is Ted? Did he make it down? Ted and I aren't together anymore. What? We separated a couple months ago. Oh, I'm so sorry, Faith. I had no idea. Well, you don't exactly broadcast when your husband of 17 years leaves you for a 20-something next door. Mario's been a mess. We moved back here a couple weeks ago. I couldn't stay in Portland. Must be a big change for him. We're not talking that much right now. He's going through a rebellious phase, but I think he'll get over it. What? I know divorce lawyers, and I have heard terrible things. Custody can get pretty nasty, Faith. Ted and I discussed it together. He gets the girlfriend, I get Mario. I would just make sure that he's okay with that. He's old enough to have a say, legally speaking. Thanks, Espe, but I already have an attorney. Hello, girls. Dad. Mom would love to see you together. I can't believe it. It hurts this much. It's been 10 years since we divorced. It's okay, Dad. You had a great life together. We all did. Remember that family trip we took to the coast? <laughs> when you and Mom were setting up the tent and it flew into the ocean? <laughs> you had to dive in. It was April. The water was freezing. Claro que me acuerdo. We had to dry it over the fire, and then it almost got on fire. <laughs> Yeah, um, mom was the outdoorsy type, you know? When it came to the woods, I just followed orders and badly. <laughs> What's going on here? Here's our baby Three sister. Girls, uh, es perfeito, caridad. We were just talking about that camping trip to the coast. Hmm? Oh, when dad caught the tunnel fire. Hey, yeah. Almost caught it on fire, okay? <laughs> casi, casi. You know what? I think mom was rooting for the fire. She loved nature so much, she probably just wanted us all to sleep out under the stars. <laughs> she hated that I hated it. I really hated it. It wouldn't be that bad, Gaddy, says the corporate lawyer. Hey, I like nature too. Hmm, sure you do. Uh, by the way, love the hiking boots. They must be great for those long trips to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> um. Excuse me, I need to go to the restroom. <laughs> mm. Must be perfect for those long treks to Starbucks. out here. No, it's okay. No worries. <laughs> I'm sorry, again. You're in line and I'm blocking you no, no, here. No, that, it's, um, that's not it. I mean, yes, but uh, uh, you don't recognize me, do you? Mm -hmm. I'm Lewis Jones from debate team. Little Lewis? <laughs> not so little anymore. Filled out while during college. Uh, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually glad I ran into you. Um, I've been handling your mom's legal affairs, and there's a will reading tomorrow at the office. I want to make sure the whole family attends. Uh, oh, um, sure, sure. Um, I, I will fly back tomorrow after lunch. Can 
We meet in the morning? Yeah, sure, no problem. Oh, perfect. Uh, see you then. Okay. I still. Ah, uh, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. All, all yours. Since Espe wanted us to meet so early, I thought I'd bring breakfast for everyone. Mm. Sanduchito. Oh my God, yeah. you cannot get sanduchitos like this in Seattle. Oh, yeah. Gracias. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm. Ali, qué rico. Mmm. Mmm. Have you ever thought about baking professionally? Because, oh my God, you are really good. <laughs> Stop. Mm. Mm. I'm serious. You could open up your own bakery. You could make a killing, Cuddy. Maybe a fusion bakery. Cubana Americana. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Your mom came to see me a short while back to write her last will and testament. Now, I want to make it clear that she loved each one of you so very much. To my beloved daughters, Faith, Esperanza, and Carida, and my ex-husband, Victor, I wish for you all the love and happiness that this world can give. Please know that I'll always be with you wherever you are, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it is my final wish that all my earthly possessions, my house, my car, my money, and of course my dear sweet dog Wasabi, go to my middle daughter, Esperanza. Me? Her? Her? On one condition. She agrees to live in my house and sisters for a period of no less than one year. If Esperanza does not abide by my wishes, the house and everything in it will be sold and the proceeds donated to the Nature Conservancy. What? 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 get the house. I lived across the street from mom for 12 years. I took care of her. Mom took care of herself. Don't be such a drama queen. If anything, she took care of you. Oh, what about you? She paid for you to go to some swanky university. Well, she bought you a house. Well, what about Espe? She doesn't even live here. Girls, please calm down. If anybody deserves the house, it's me. I'm the oldest. Why do you want the house so badly? When did mom write the will? You know, maybe she was Clearly something wasn't right. Mom died of cancer. She wasn't losing her mind. I don't know why she did this. Doesn't mean we can't contest it, Espe. You have to admit it's pretty unfair, Espe. We should be splitting mom's things evenly. Yeah, I mean, probably. Oh, probably? Probably. OK. Probably, Espe. Great. Amazing. Cutty, Cutty, wait. Great. Faith, stop. Faith. You're being greedy, Espe. I am not Faith. Are you mad at me, too? I'm not picking sides. You're going to have to fix this between yourselves. They are right, Dad. Mom should have split everything between us. Why did you leave it all to me? You're asking me, Espy? If I had your mom figured out, we'd probably still be married. You know, Nina always had a way of doing things. I, I can't give you advice but I can lay some facts on you, okay? Mom and I, 
We paid for Cari and Daniel's house when they had Anna. We paid for Faith's wedding and her college. She did not get the scholarships that you did. But when you left, you didn't take a dime. You put yourself through college, through law school. Heck, you made a life of your own in Seattle. Maybe it, it was a way of mom to make things even, you know? Maybe. What am I supposed to do then? I can't tell you what you should do. But let me tell you, don't think that you don't deserve this, okay? Okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Faith are so upset. Things aren't great between us. And taking the house would make it worse. Look, I know it's none of my business, but what happened with you three? <sighs> we were very close until mom and dad divorced. When they split, we all did. Faith went to college and met Ted. Carrie got into cheerleading. And when I graduated high school, I moved to Seattle and never really looked back. You know, Nina was especially concerned about you being alone in Seattle. Let me ask you something. Is there any way we can get around the wheel and I can split everything with my sisters? I'm afraid not. Your mom made sure. Either you take it, or it all goes away. For some reason, she really wanted this for you. <sighs> what made you come back? Honestly? I never saw myself back here. And then, um, everything fell apart. The night I went to propose to my girlfriend, she dumped me in the middle of dinner. Mm. I was devastated. So I left. Moved back in with my folks, got my life back together, and, um, just ended up sticking around. I don't still live with my folks, though. <laughs> no judgment. Enough about me. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking I need to cancel my flight. <laughs> I never imagined I would be in this situation and have to make a big decision. I need time to figure this out. All right, then. Mm. I'll run you past my place to pick up Wasabi and then drop you both off at Nina's place. You know, I can't believe Mom had a favorite. And even worse, it wasn't me. Hmm. She must have had her reasons for choosing SP. Her side now? No, I didn't say that. Daniel, I didn't say that. Daniel, do you do you know how much the house is worth? Because it's way more than ours. You know this isn't right. Could you please put the spoon down, or at least stop stress baking?
Listen to me, honey. If it is about the money, I got us. My business is doing great. We have plenty of money. You really don't have a clue, Daniel, do you? It's not all about the money. Happy to see you. I'm happy to see her. Are you moving in? Hmm? I don't know yet, but I'm staying here while I decide. I heard what happened. Mom's been talking about it all day. <laughs> I'm sure she has. Um, want to help me unpack? Okay. Pretty messy in here from Mom's renovation. Uh huh. Come on, Wasabi. Mom and Tia Faith used to have slumber parties in Abuela Nina's room. Can we have a slumber party? Sure, if I decide to stay. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my God, is that Mommy's Bata Cubana? Let me check it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So pretty. It is a traditional dress from Cuba where Abuela's family comes from. Looks pretty old. You want it? Really? I'm sure Abuela Nina will be okay with that. And you will look so pretty in it when you are a little older. <laughs> Thanks, Diaz, babe. Thanks, Abuela. Mario? Espe! Espe? We're up in mom's room. So you moved in already? How do you know I was here? Cari told me. I haven't made up my mind. That's mommy's bata cubana. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was your abuela's favorite dress to go dancing. And she always looked so beautiful. There was another one that I loved seeing her in. Really? Which one? Anna. Hey, darling. What's going on here? Is that a Tessage's cake? Mm-hmm. Well, we are going through mom's closet just like old times. <laughs> Want to join us? Okay. Yeah. Faltabas tú, te cruzaste mi rumbo, descubriste mi mundo y gracias al destino a tu lado camino tú y aunque a veces la alegría se desaparecía, algo a mí me decía que solo faltabas tú. Faltabas tú. I have to. It's my mom last week. I need to stay in sisters for at least a year. You know I can work from here. If you're going to become a full partner, dialing in from sisters is not... I can fly up there whenever you need me. I know the world is changing, Espy, but this change might be too big. It's one year, not forever. Fine, we'll try it. But only because it's you. I'm sorry about your mother. Thanks. Talk to you soon. I can't believe Bruno Bianco is my mom's constructor. I thought you would be a professional soccer player. Nah, they pay too much. <laughs> so I tell them it's always better at wood shop, you know? <laughs> yeah, your mom actually started on some renovations, you know, but, um, mm -hmm. bless her heart. Replace the compressor and the AC, 
knock out a few walls, replace some electrical sockets, and electrical outlets, and repaint most of the downstairs. I want to finish whatever she started. Okay, I'll get on it. And what's your ETA for an old friend? An old friend who lets you copy her math homework. Hmm? <laughs> I'll get started tomorrow. Really? That's amazing, Bruno. <laughs> Hot tip for an old friend. You might save some money painting yourself. Oh, I am known as the Van Gogh of sisters. Well, I am the Van Gogh of Seattle, and I'm pretty sure I can handle it with a helper or two. Fair. Hmm, fair? Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow. cheaper than Bruno. What about Louis? I work for pizza. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm going to buy a new outfit for my friend's party. I'll even take you shopping. It's going to be great having you next door at the ISP. I'm going to like that too. Ah, I guess. <laughs> the paint goes on the house. Got it. Excuse me, Anna. Is Mario here? He didn't come home last night. Oh my gosh, uh, no. Obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll help you look for him. Uh, where do you think he can be? If I knew I would have found him already, he doesn't talk to me. Uh, what about uh, Three Creek Campsite? Kids used to go up there party um, when we were in high school. The big kids still go there. Uh, is Mario into partying? I don't know. Maybe? I can drive us up there. All right, and Daniel and I can check downtown. I'll call Dad too. What about me? Maybe you should stay home in case he comes back. Hey, Dad. Hi, um, Johnny. Anything? No. Um, did you get in touch with Aspen or anybody else? No, I haven't heard anything. Um, Where we're, are you going now? We're circling downtown. Maybe you could check the high school. OK, I'm on it. OK, thanks, Dad. What's up? Is this something? coming with me. The family's going through a lot right now without a missing Mario. I'm happy to help. Really. Uh, look. Oh, do you see Mario? Yes, there he is. There he is. Oh. Not bad for a newbie. You just need to learn a few more chords. All right, show me what you got then. Be cool. Otherwise? He will be embarrassed, and he won't come back with us. Be cool. Uh-huh. Right, right. You remember we were on the debate team? Some of us have matured since then. Mm-hmm. Follow my lead, okay? Yo, Mario, you know these clowns? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, they're good. Mario, you need to get home. Um, your mom is freaking out. She's always freaking out. Dragging me down here, being so overprotective, nagging me all the time. That's why I left. It is a hard time for everybody right now, Mario. I can understand a little for what you are going through, I can get it. But staying up 
partying forever? Come on, Mario. I can't stay with her. Um, maybe I can talk to her. I'll just take her side. I'm not on anyone's side. I just want to help. <laughs> Look. I'm staying at Abuela's house. Um, maybe if your mom is okay, you can stay with me a while. And that gives you some space. Really? Do we have a deal? Okay. Deal. Yo, we're out. Later. Peace out, homies. Keep walking, homie. What? That was cool. That no. Was, I thought that was cool. <laughs> Did you find him? Yes, he's okay. Thank God. Where are you? Um, we are at uh, Three Creek Campsite. Okay, I'll be right there to get him. About that, um... In order to get him to come back, we made a little deal. Uh, please don't be mad. What? What deal? Mario needs some space, and I told him that he's welcome to stay with me if it is okay with you. He's my son, Espe. I know, I know. The divorce has clearly been hard on on you guys, and I'm not trying to interfere with your parenting, but it could be good for both of you. Okay. Okay. I guess it's not completely logical. We'll keep an eye on him. Fine. He can stay, but tell him I'm calling him tomorrow. I'm not happy about his little escape act. We'll do. What is this? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Yep. It looks like you inherited a leaking pipe. <laughs> oh, why do I need to do to fix it? Aren't you glad you got a plumber in the family? Take of advantage. Course. <laughs> Though, now and then, uh, I might ask for something in return. Name it. <sighs> Do you know what's eating Carrie lately? Oof. Uh, losing mom has been hard on all of us. The will. Well, yeah, but, uh, but even before that, I don't know. She just, she just doesn't seem as happy as anymore. I'll do my best to give her everything she could ever want, but... It doesn't seem enough for her. I know our marriage, the way we got together. And anyway, it wasn't exactly a fairy tale, but... Okay, what do you mean? I mean, you were high school sweethearts. The head cheerleader, star quarterback. Hmm? It was a shotgun wedding, Espy. She was already two months along when we got married. Didn't you know? Listen, we don't have to talk about this stuff. Uh, I just figured, you know, sisters share everything and maybe you could help me out. Sorry. But I guess I don't know my little sister as well as I thought. That makes two of us. <laughs> i get to you right away. <laughs> you are the best. Muchas <laughs> gracias. Uh, at least someone thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Sick? <laughs> I'm going to assume that means something good. I'm not your tia Kari, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> Coffee? Oh, with lots of milk and sugar? I knew you were so tough. <laughs> Buen provecho, mi amor. Thanks, tia Espe. For the food, for everything. I'll be the perfect guest, I promise. You won't even know I'm here. Mario, I want you here. As long as you don't disappear on me. Three Creek campsite is off limits, got it? Got it. And, you know, there is time for party in high school, isn't it, believe me? I don't like partying anyway. Just didn't know where else to go. 
Are things really that bad? Dad got the house and mom got me. That was their agreement. The thing is, I like it here in Sisters. Mm. And I already have a few friends. Friends who don't party. <laughs> and Sisters High has this cool music program and I want to learn guitar. Wow, that's amazing, Mario. But I can't stay here with mom nagging on me 24 seven. What can I do to help? I thought you and Tia Cari were close with her, but... I tried talking to her, but... She doesn't seem like she wants to share anything with me. You know? Maybe you could keep trying? I don't think she can deal with all this alone. Hmm. You are a smart kid, Mario. I know. Ay, que bobo eres. <laughs> mm. He's not ready yet. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. He barely spoke to me on the phone. He will come around, Faith. Can I come in? Here's some clothes for him. Can I see it? How is it going, though? Um, yesterday was pretty intense. Having to tell Ted that Mario ran away would have been a complete disaster. I'm sorry you're going through such a hard time, Faith. On top of mom and everything. Mario's not making it easier. That boy's gonna give me a heart attack. Why don't you try taking advantage of your free time? Now? Espe, I have to get a job. Get out of this rental. Find something permanent. I have to deal with Ted, the lawyer. Of course, but getting some fresh air might be nice too. He'll take your mind off things. I don't think I have time for that right now. I'm just saying. Just take a little time for yourself. Take a breath. I think you will feel better. Honestly, the thought of having to do something for myself hasn't occurred to me. It's been so long since I've been on my own. I don't know what to do. Faith, it is okay if you don't have all the answers. I can't imagine what it's like to be in your shoes. But I know you're strong and you will get through this, okay? Do you remember how devastated we were when NSYNC broke up? <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, 20 years later, still in one piece, babe. Apparently. But hey, I am here for you if you need anything or you need to talk, okay? A hug, maybe? <laughs> How's it coming? Uh, having the time of our lives. Looks like it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I bought some Cuban sandwiches. <laughs> you left your office just to bring us sandwiches? Oh, and um, well, I thought you might need some help. Um, uh, uh, OK, so. Um, Let's get you to work, and um, there's a, a brush over there. Okay. <laughs> We're really gonna be doing this all day? Why not? We're getting paid. Uh, You're getting paid? And you are getting free room and board. Uh, it's not that bad, come on. And you are into creative things. Um, think of it like, uh, like an art project. 
Yeah, a boring art project. Maybe if I put some music, it will be more fun, don't you think? Mm -hmm. It's a malanga maria, hay que comerla caliente. Yo te la traigo, maria, yo te la traigo de oriente. Esa malanga maria, hay que comerla caliente. Some of the old gang was meeting at Sister Sister later. It's a uh, salsa night. Mm -hmm. You in? We have two bars now. So called me in. <laughs> Good. See you then. See you. Hello, Faith. Let's go shopping. This one. Ooh. I don't think so. Oh, well, why not? No, it's too short. Actually. It's not short. I mean, look, it's not short. It's like a piñata. It's not. It's not a piñata. Look. Okay, you want shiny? This one. Oh Come no on. no 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 mm -mm, no. I like it. No, I don't. Yo por eso es que me tan nota loca. Lo que quiero es besarte boca. Dime si estás mejor. Desde aquella noche en que bailamos. Oye nena, tú me diste una sonrisa a mí Que me dejó cantando así Yo por eso es que en esta nota loca Lo que quiero es besar tu boca mother of a teenage boy. Faith, you are not a mother tonight. You are a woman, a single woman. Not helping. Faith, you look beautiful. I do not. Just look at yourself. Stop it. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Oh, uh, Bruno said it's salsa night at Sister Sister. You should come with us. I could use all the moral support I can get. <laughs> okay. I'll go, Daniel. Be lining up to dance salsa with you tonight. I am not ready for that yet. Oh, thanks. Oh, there's Bruno. There they are, the three beautiful sisters. My beautiful thing. You look amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Room for one more? Hey! 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 Is that name ever getting old? No. No. <laughs> this. No. This. 
his sister's most eligible bachelor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the first round of the sister. Yay! Let's go. Let's go. Sister's most eligible bachelor. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's uh, he's just messing around. Mm. You, you clean up well. Mm, you're not too bad yourself. <laughs> That's my job. Babe, hey, hey. would you like to dance? Yes. Del pasado solo queda la lección Por nuestros hijos que son futuro La semilla de nueva generación I read the transcript and I found some... What's going on there? World War III? I'm sorry. I'm having some work done at the house and I didn't think it would be so loud. Well, it's nice and quiet here at the office where you could be. I'll mute myself. No. T forget it. Uh, just email me your observations. We can talk tomorrow. Here. What's up? It's pretty loud. I was on a call. Oh, we, uh, we should get a swing this thing a little quieter, but it is the only way to open up this wall. So. Um, I'm sorry. It's my own fault. Still learning to juggle Seattle with sisters. Yeah. Not to mention Lewis. What about Lewis? Come on. We all saw you together last night. I mean, think. What's going on? Not, nothing, nothing. We were just friends. Friends? Yeah, your fr friends don't salsa like that, all right? Admit it, you're crushing on them. It's fine. I'm a 31-year-old woman, and I'm not crushing on anyone, OK? OK, just keep telling yourself that. That's fine. <laughs> right. Mom is driving me crazy. Dad called and she's all mad and telling me I have to come home. Look, you know what I do when I get upset, Mario? I use this. And I mean, if it's okay with your tia here, uh, maybe you can give it a try. 
the uh, airspeck? It's okay with me, as long as it's safe, okay? It's honor. Okay. Safety first. You two have fun. I'm getting far away from here. All right. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. It's heavy. Ready? Yeah. You look ready. Follow with me? No, this is one of my clients. Oh, got it. Hey, Anna. Hey, Louis. Hi. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes, exactly. Oh, that's beautiful. Maybe I can come over and cook you dinner one night? And paint, of course. Can you cook? I thought you were all about free pizza. Oh, I can make a pizza. Ah, that's very impressive, Louis. So, uh, it's, it's a date? It is. All right, then. Good. Great. I mean, that's good. Are you guys going to be boyfriend and girlfriend? Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, I better, uh, Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Me, too. I have to. Y All right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should be his girlfriend. Aren't you too young to be thinking about that stuff? I'm almost 12, the ASB. Oh, my God. You, you keep going. <laughs> shopping. What's going on? Well, Mrs. Garcia asked me to make some pastries for the church social hour. It's my first paid gig, so I really want to impress everyone. What's a gig? It just means I'm getting paid. You're getting paid for what? <laughs> Whoa, what's all this? Mrs. Garcia paid mom to make pastries for the church. What? It's, Why? It's, it's okay, Daniel. It's okay. I, I really wanted to. But, but why do you think we need extra money all of a sudden? Ah, oh, no, lo pastelito. Ah, I forgot to change the temperature. Oh, my gosh. Carrie? Watch out, watch out, no. watch out. Just because I took a job doesn't mean I'm threatening your macho manhood, okay? Hey, what's up with you lately? Why won't you just, just talk to me? Can we talk when I'm not in the middle of baking? When are you not in the middle of baking? <sighs> Daniel, leave me alone right now, please. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. Come here, honey. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that you keep seeing us argue. We're just going through a tough time. It's okay. No, it's not okay. 
Do you want to show me what you got? I'd love to see it. Okay. Yeah. What? I am not moving back in with you. And I'm never going to if you keep trying to force me. You're a child. You belong with me. I am not a child. I think... Mom, if you can't chill out, then I'm going to move back in with Dad. You really think he wants you to move in full time with his girlfriend? I don't care. At least he treats me like an adult. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's calm down, okay? Espe, butt out. You're the reason Mario's acting like such a brat. Me? He's been here for hardly a week and you've already pushed him against me. I knew this was a mistake. Tia, Espe hasn't done anything except for listen to me, which is what you should be doing, Mom. We're leaving now. Espe? What is the meaning of this? She told me she knew what she wanted. I thought it was okay. My 11-year-old cannot go parading around in this. It's completely inappropriate. And it's up to an adult to know that. You don't know the first thing about kids, Espe. You know what? I don't think they should be spending so much time here. It was an honest mistake. It won't happen again. Yeah, I know it won't happen again because Anna isn't allowed here anymore. What? Mario isn't either. Mom! You can't be serious! Face it, Espe. You shouldn't even be here. You think you can fix this with some silly night out? You stole our inheritance! I didn't take anything from you. I just did what Mom wanted. Everything would go to our charity if I didn't take this place. You could have contested the will. You already have a house, a whole life. I've lost everything. Why are you acting like this? I have been nothing but nice to you since I got here, both of you. After completely ignoring us our whole adult lives. It's been two years since you've been home, Espe. Two years, okay? It's too little, too late. Face it, you do not belong here and you haven't for a very long time. Pack your things, Mario. But mom! I'll wait in the car. Hello? Yes. Hi. Hey, Curtis. What's up? Uh, well, I'm just checking in. I haven't heard from you in quite a while. I wanted to make sure everything was okay and see when you're coming back. I'm sorry. Things are crazy here. Uh, it's kind of a long story. Okay, so uh, what, what does that mean? I mean, how, how much longer do you think? I'm not sure. Seattle's not the same without, without you. I miss you, Espy. It won't be no much longer. I'll let you know. Right. Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Wasabi. Wasabi, come on. I made a big mistake. I shouldn't have taken the house. But I, I told you how Mom and I helped your sisters. You know? I know. And what you said, it was logical. But logic doesn't mean much when it's come to family. <sighs> Carrie and Faith are so upset with me about the will, about a lot of things. They will be better without me around. Why can't you girls get along? You know, we used to have so much fun when you were little. Give us all me help. Life just took us in different directions. It's never going to be the same, especially with Mom gone. All of us back together was not nice dream. It's just not meant to be. Is there something I can do to help? It's okay, Dad. 
You don't want to get in the middle of this. I get it. Te voy a extrañar mi vida. And you are welcome in Seattle anytime, Dad. Barbosa, Mr. Jones is on a call right now, but I can let him know that you're here. It's okay. Um, could you just give him this? Are you sure? I think he'll just be a few minutes. Don't trouble him. It's better this way. Thank you. Sure. Yes, Espe Barbosa, she left you this. part of my visit home to sisters but after giving it some serious thought I have realized that's all it is a visit I'm flying back to Seattle tonight and giving up the house and all of mom's stuff except sweet wasabi everything's in your hands now I wish we could have had our date but I guess it wasn't meant to be Thanks for everything, your friend, Espe. Loud in the dining room. You can't believe in the car? Chris, no. She's in a new city. She should be with me. Fair enough. Not to mention, she might destroy my upholstery. It's a good thing. Do you have any outdoor seating? Hey, madame. La chienne. Merci beaucoup. It's very um, rich. Mm -hmm. I know, right? It's mm -hmm. delicious. You know, I was actually a little worried there when you extended your stay. What happened exactly? It's complicated. Let's just say it's over and done with. Sure. Did you have any time to think about us? A little. I just think we make sense together, Espy. I mean, we've been on and off again for so long. I'm ready to stop playing games and make this real. I'm not ready yet. I like our relationship, but marriage is a big deal. all the time you need. How's that steak, Wasabi? Oh. It's so good. Too a bit. Je t'aime aussi. Okay. 
because you're gonna pick me up around noon tomorrow, right? Okay, uh, cool. <laughs> Can't wait to see what Fran makes for my welcome home dinner. I didn't even know she could cook. See you tomorrow, Dad. Speak to your dad. He's coming tomorrow. You sure this is what you want? Okay, it's not what I want. I like sisters. You're the problem. I know the divorce has been hard on you, but it's been hard on me too. And this extra stress you're putting on me, it's, it's making it worse for both of us. Who else can I turn to? You're the only family I have. What about Tia Espe? Tia Cari? You know how I feel about Tia Espe. And Tia Cari has problems of her own. But they love you, Mom. And they want to help. Our family is always there for us. That's what I learned from Tia Espe. And Abuela, too. Have I really been that bad? You're a good mom. You just need some help sometimes. We all do, right? That's what you always told me. It's okay to ask for help. Maybe I should treat you more like a grown-up. <laughs> more often. You're smarter than you look, kid. Gee, thanks. Carol, we need to talk. Something's up between us. What am I doing wrong? I'm not upset with you. I'm upset with myself for not following my dreams. I'm trying to give you the best life I can. I know, I know. And I appreciate everything you do for our family. But there are some things I want that you, you cannot give me. Like what? Mom, dying so young made me realize just how, how short life really is. I got married and had a baby straight out of high school, and I never got to live on my own. I never got to live in a big city like Espe or got to be independent. I just, I don't want to be just a housewife anymore. So you're saying what I think you're saying, the D word. A divorce? No. No, 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 of course so, not, no. So, uh, so what then? What do you want, Carrie? I want to open a bakery. A, a bakery? That's it? Yes, yes, that's it, that's it. Well, okay then. How can I help? You mean it? Of course, baby, of course. Everyone knows you're the best baker in the whole town. <laughs> it's just that you do so much, and I didn't want to ask for something else. Family. We're partners. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do it together. <laughs> yeah. I love you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Really nice today. Really? <laughs> Honestly? Yeah. All right. <laughs>
There's someone at Abuela's house. What? What do you think it is? I'll go check it out. Wait, I'm coming with you. Carrie, that's what... Daniel, we're partners. What's with the wrench? Oh. Dad, what are you doing here? You scared us half to Oof. death. Hey, guys. What's going on here? I wanted to help your sister, and since she wasn't able to finish when she left, I called Louis for the keys, and guess what? He volunteered to help. I just want to get it ready for the Nature Conservancy. Ah, uh, OK. OK. <laughs> well, tomorrow's Saturday. Maybe Daniel and I can pitch in? Yeah, yeah, sure. Great, yeah. great. Great. Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. And I get coffee too. Of course. The more, the merrier. Yeah. Cuéntame de ti, dime si estás mejor. Desde aquella noche en que bailamos los dos. Oye, nena, tú me diste una sonrisa a mí que me dejó cantando así. Yo por eso que en esta nota loca lo que quiero es besar tu boca. Aquella noche cuando apareciste en reloj marcó la 12 Y te volviste la princesa que ahora vive en mi cabeza Le escribí a todos tus amigos para ver cómo daba contigo Y es que no te olvido, ya tú sabes que no te olvido Cuéntame de ti, dime si estás mejor Si estás de aquella noche que bailamos los dos Oye nena, tú me diste una sonrisa a mí que me Good work today, kid. Nice to have you back in the office. Nice for me, anyway. What's that mean? I was impressed with the way you picked up and moved to Sisters. I thought you'd left the city behind for good. Yeah. Well, it didn't work out. Espy, we've known each other since your intern days. I watched you become a great lawyer on track to becoming a full partner. But I have to admit, you've never seemed truly happy in Seattle. Life's tough in a big city. True, very mm. true. You know, I grew up in a small town too. Chewila, Washington, out on the Idaho border. Loved it there. Just mountains and fresh air. But when I was just starting out, it wasn't an option to practice corporate law anywhere but the city, so I stayed. And I made a good life for myself. But if I was a young lawyer in today's world, well, I might not have made the same decisions. Not if my town didn't feel at home. Well, got dinner plans with the wife. Try not to burn the midnight oil if you can help it. <laughs> Thanks, Hall, for everything. Next week at the Henry, my brother's got extra tickets. It's this uh, German artist post postmodernism. Curtis, uh, you are a great guy. You should be with someone who likes fancy restaurants, art galleries. Not a small town girl like me. 
Well, I can't say I didn't see this coming. I just thought after all. I thought that too for a while. I hope we can still be friends. Of course. So does this mean what I think it means? You know, your sister's another guy? I told Hall I'm going to finish my work from sisters. Well, I wish you all the best, sisters. You're in this hobby. Thank you, Curtis. the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I did some decorating too. Come on, check it out. Really? Yes, check it out. Okay, let's see. Bakery. <laughs> well, nothing's decided yet, but we're looking to rent a place downtown. They will assist our selling. It's incredible. Congratulations, <laughs> Kathy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We were looking at a house down the street and we saw Wasabi running around the yard. A house? Well, our lease is almost up and Mario's decided to stay in Sisters at least during the school week. The rooms are really far apart, so I could see it working out. <laughs> what are you doing back there, Espe? Um, well, I also decided to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choice. I can't apologize enough for all those nasty things I said. You really didn't deserve it. I'm sorry too, Espe. And I'm so glad you're staying. Maybe we can start over. <laughs> can sisters start over? Ooh. I think so. I'm willing to try if you are. 
Yes. Oh my god. I love you, girl. I love you so much. <laughs> What? Your mother left me something too. <laughs> you three girls. <laughs> You're my precious one. And I'm gonna do better at showing it. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, come on. Hi. Oh. Um, come on everyone. Let's give them some space. I didn't know if I should come see you. Esper, you don't owe me an explanation. You did what was best for you. I get it. That you said. I, I, I didn't do what was best for me. Um, I just got scared, confused a little. But now I know what is best for me, and I'm so sorry. I promise. I'm not going anywhere. No pizza. <laughs> we don't do well with pizza. Okay, okay, no pizza. No pizza. I really missed you. I don't want to miss you ever again. Stupid. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs>